Scorpio, I feel you guys are actually have really grown on your inner wisdom. Like you're able to tap into a higher level of your own self, soul wisdom. It comes with us in each lifetime. It comes with us when we're born. We can connect to the universe and you guys are feeling it because you've gone through this huge transformation. This transformation you went through was a lot of work, a lot of deep analyzing, a lot of powerful, empowering moves where it took all of your force, all of your might to move through this energy. You're all about transformation. And this is, you know, the Scorpio season really hit a lot of you hard. This is more about a group of you where you have gone through this and already completed it and you're moving into something brand new using discernment as you go forward especially when it comes to anything that you put your emotions and you attach your emotions to it so it's this new beginning getting ready to emerge you've been planning and preparing for a new chapter for a new year of 2023 for a new decade, a new life direction. And that is what is getting ready to come in for you guys. And the last two weeks of December are very powerful weeks when it comes to the, the beginning of January. So we're going to look at the next three to four weeks, uh, primarily focusing on two the first two, the end of December, because that end of December will hold a lot of influence on how those first two weeks of January goes. So this new beginning has been, like I said, a lot for you where you're feeling like you get it, you understand, you can stand next to somebody and probably read them like a book more than you could before. And if you were already knew how to do it before, you can do it better now. And uh, micro vibing through all of the negative people around you. That's my book that I wrote to help us in this particular area. So it's an incredible moment for you to stand up strong and say, you know what, I'm completing this cycle. I've accomplished everything that I need to do. But there is one exception because there is an ending that is going to take place in order to make this transformation complete. And that ending may have to do with a family member who is equally as wise as you. However, I feel they're very emotionally immature. They may make a lot of jokes and giggle a lot, but they were not in balance back then when all of the things took place. And equally, they may not still be in balance right now. Either which way, I feel that you're going to sever ties with this particular individual that caused you to go into this deep analytical state. Now, you are being guided to take one more look as you go forward right around the uh, actually it's right at the New Year peak. So this is like New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. There's going to be communication coming in from this person, and it is going to be very positive communication where they may be sharing with you some truthful stuff that you didn't even know. Had you known, it probably would have made your whole transformation, your whole self-analyzing go so much smoother and be more beneficial for you. But you see, that was what they needed to master as well. So the reflections of this conversation is what you have to take a look at. And I feel it's going to end any negative uh, attachments to the experience overall in general. You may choose not to even communicate with them in the future, but I do see that most of you are going to accept this uh, phone call. Uh, I feel it's going to be a phone call or text messaging. Some of you, it might be a virtual, but I don't think you're quite ready for that. Those of you that want to move forward with this person, you may do a virtual. But there is this beautiful back and forth energy. And you're going to do it because you know that it has everything to do with the new year in 2023 and the next decade, if not longer. So you know it is a big, important part of closure in order to get all of the beautiful universal rewards that are coming your way because when we accomplish this feat 
of completing the cycle that we're in, that's when the reward shows up. But it doesn't come without releasing. It doesn't come without reflecting on those people around us that caused us a lot of havoc, that caused us a lot of uh, pain and looking deeper. But, you know, this person, I feel they they made you feel like you couldn't move forward. Now, it's not necessarily that I see them around you all the time. It's the words that they used where they may have humiliated you, made fun of you, laughed at you, you know, like a little kid pointing their finger at you, ha ha ha, you know, and making fun of you because you have a physical flaw that they find amusing. But really what it was doing was boosting their ego and putting you down. So it had nothing to do with you being flawed. It has to do with them being flawed. And I feel that's the truthful information that's coming in where they're recognizing, you know, I was a, being a big, uh, well, not a nice person. <laughs> I have to be careful of what I say, right? Um, but you know where I'm going with that. You can put any name in there where they were not being a, a, a decent human being when it came to you, when it came to you. They may have been fine for other people around you, but I feel there was a little bit of manipulation around them um, and deception. But yet there's still that love for this person. And that's why I feel this is a family member or a friend. Some of you, this may very well be your current partner. Um, and it may be your, you know, one of their lives that we're talking about and not even yours, where you are seeing or hearing that this is somebody else's life around you because you are connected to them. And it affects your life as well. So Scorpio, this is that moment for you, especially just before the holidays to analyze everything before you start this new chapter, making a list of what it is that you want, making sure that you are focused in that direction and getting organized and prepared because as the empress, you will be organized. You cannot be the empress and not have organization skills. That doesn't mean you have to be top in the class, so to speak, but it does mean that you know how to put things together. You know how to prioritize what is more important than other things. And when something comes in to sidetrack you, and it always does, it does, especially if you are living a, a very busy life, you will always have something or someone come in and it detours you from what you're focused on. You know how to get right back into it. That Empress energy means you can turn around, answer them, and go right back where you left off without missing a beat. So it's a very positive, uplifting energy. Now, I feel this person um, is going to reach out to you, and it is going to help you move forward. But I also feel for some of you, you have a brand new person coming in that's going to help you release the burden that you're carrying particularly when it comes to financial obligations. This might be a roommate that comes in and they come in in January where you're renting out a room or you're going to go share a place with someone else. Somebody who comes in and offers you an opportunity, an investment opportunity uh, or definitely a job offer. It may be a little bit of a part-time job for you, some of you, but I feel it's an actual second or full-time job offer that's coming in, um, it, it's full. It's a full energy feeling around this opportunity. Now, if you're all set in your finances, you have somebody coming in to help you redo your contracts, looking at wills and negotiations, inheritance, uh, looking at every type of contract that has to do with your financial security. So this could be hiring um I'm hearing a financial broker, okay, but that also may be somebody that, who is attached to life insurance where they carry the Series 7 license and they can help you in a multitude of different ways, especially those of you in business making sure that there is business insurance set up for you and your partners or whoever it's going to be left to in the future. It doesn't mean you're going anywhere. It doesn't mean you're ending. That ten of swords does not mean you're leaving Earth. It means that the ending of the old chapter is taking place, allowing the ace of swords to come in bright and shiny. And that beautiful shine that comes from silver and gold is 
illuminating to other people. So it's you might be very important figure out in the public arena. You could be in the political arena or your partner is. Um, but I feel for a lot of you, it is a big organization that is coming in to help you make this completion. So that is off your plate. They're going to take the burden away. You don't have to do the research. They already know. So it's hiring a legal team on some level that's going to help you move forward. Now, when it comes to romance, you guys, and I know I, I kind of skip in right through to romance because there is a lot of romance in this reading. There's a deep desire to start something new. And you may have been wondering, is there a person coming in for me? Will I ever meet the right person for me? Is that one of the rewards that I'm going to get? Is that, is that, did I do everything to erase those negative repetitive cycles with people that come in and take? And that's what I feel you've been dealing with. They take, 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 take. And it affects every relationship, but definitely the romantic side. It's kind of hard to feel sensual and sexual and absolutely confident when somebody comes in and they take everything from you it it kind of just tears it little by little at us where it shows in our confidence level so if you're in a relationship right now i feel the two of you are going to kind of analyze if you want to keep going on in this relationship you may actually be severing ties. And if you're already apart from each other, you're going to have that final conversation. I feel a group of you who are attached to somebody, you are with them because of financial obligations, where you are being guided to reanalyze all of the financial situation, calling in a professional person to help you do that. Uh, somebody who can help you if you're leaving, if you're parting ways, to divvy up the assets. But it's going to lead you into a beautiful ace of swords beginning that's new, that's truthful, that's clear communication. That is standing in your true self as you move forward. Those of you who are bordering right up against Libra, oh my gosh, it's going to be amazing for you. Whichever direction you decide to stay with your partner or to end that relationship, the transformation around you is amazing. It is for all Scorpios, but definitely that Libra energy, that may have been when you guys uh, separated or started doubting yourself if you even wanted to be with this person. And those of you who are single, oh my goodness, you definitely have different people coming into your life where you have a big decision to make. And I feel that in order for you to move forward, you have to end that old cycle. And that's what you're doing because this overall energy through the end of the year, moving right into around the 3rd of January is release. It's letting go letting go of negativity, letting go of the memory of what happened to you, letting go of the people who did it to you. It's like you're literally like, yeah, I really just don't care about it anymore. I'm good. It doesn't trigger you. It doesn't make you feel like you want to cry. You can move forward and wish them well in their life and just move forward. There is no more anger. There is no more pain. It is absolutely severing ties with that old attachment or all of them. It may have been more than one. And when you do this, you're going to find yourself meeting two or three different people. And one of those people is the right one for you. One of those people is going to be what we consider to be our, our soulmate, the person we're meant to walk with side by side. The divine, the twin flame energy triggers us into a self-awakening journey where we use our logic and we use our emotions. <clears throat> Empress walks in the center between the two. So there isn't a negative capacity attached to you. Not in your own thinking, not in your physical world around you. This is having all of the materialistic things that make you satisfied in life. That's the house that, you know, some of you, it's boats. It's all different things for different people. Security is definitely a big part of this. You want a secure relationship. 
and that particular person is coming in and I feel it's going to be more right around the mid of January. You may meet them on, uh, at a function. You may even travel to go see somebody and meet them while you're traveling on a trip a trip for the holidays, going to spend time with your family, and all of a sudden, you meet this person. I do feel for a lot of you, you're going to meet this person in, an, in a very spiritual environment. It could be religious, but it's more spiritual. So this would be maybe a celebration of the holidays, where people really are getting into the true meaning of the holiday spirit which has nothing to do directly with gifts. It has to do with love. It has to do with open hearts. And this person is going to fall madly in love with you. They're going to be very communicative. They're going to want to say, hey, man, I really like you. I want to create a family with you where abundance is going to be restored in your life. So it's a beautiful, beautiful message for you guys. You have an ending that is going to lead you to something so much better than you even imagined. So I'm sending all my blessings to you and I wish you much love and light.